Good afternoon. And thank you uh, for joining me and members of the Progressive, Progressive Conservative Caucus here today. Right now we're dealing with a uh, government that has turned Ontario's economic engine into a caboose. In the last year, Dalton McGuinty has taken six, a $6 billion surplus and turned it into an $18 billion deficit over the next two years. Under this government, Ontario is about to become a have-not province, collecting equalization payments for the first time in its history. Ontario families have paid a heavy price for Dalton McGuinty's failure of leadership, record job losses, and a shattering loss of hope. The worst part of this story, the sorry record, is that it did not have to be this way. We and the others have been warning Mr. McGuinty for four years now that his tax and spend policies were unsustainable. We have been warning him to stop frittering away the $27 billion in increased revenue and transfers instead of putting some away for the inevitable rainy day, which was sure to come. And we have been providing him with reasonable, sensible alternatives that could have helped to maintain Ontario, Ontario's competitive advantage. And that is why we are here today, to provide yet another idea, a small step on the road to recovery. The Ontario Progressive Conservative Caucus is calling on the Premier to implement a PST holiday on new car purchases in this month's budget. <clears throat> the idea of a tax holiday on new car purchases is a proven method to stimulate the province's declining automotive sector. The best case study for this is Ontario, which implemented a month-long tax holiday on the purchase of 1979 model cars, generating a 17% increase in sales. Others, too, have had success with this idea. Quebec increased the maximum PST amount that can be refunded on any sale of a new hybrid vehicle from $1,000 to $2,000 between February 2007 and January 2009. In some cases, the total rebate reached as much as $4,000. The U.S. stimulus bill brought in by President Obama also includes tax incentives for car purchasers. They have included state sales tax and excise deductions on new cars purchased before the end of 2009. Within certain income brackets, the incentives are worth a total of $1.68 billion. A PST holiday on car and truck sales would lend struggling auto dealers a helping hand and stimulate Ontario's economy. Like most Ontarians, local auto, de auto dealers right across the province are struggling to make ends meet. This is an easy, practical step for the government to take. It's time to get the motor running on auto sales in Ontario again. The PC caucus understands the challenges car and truck dealerships are facing. The auto sales have never been slower and most lots are jammed with inventory. A number of PC caucus members have already launched <coughs> petitions calling for a tax holiday. Beginning as far back as January of this year, Mr. Barrett and Mr. Cleese will speak to that in a moment. A tax holiday will stimulate auto sales and get people buying again, just when we need, it, when, when we need, it, uh, need them to. It's a tried and true measure that will get results and most importantly, get Ontario's econ economy going again. Thank you very much. And now we'd have a few words from <coughs> Mr. Barrett. Toby? Well, thank you, Ted. Uh, thanks to everyone for uh, coming out. Frank Cleese and uh, a, a number of our caucus colleagues have been very active in this uh, concept of a uh, sales tax holiday for vehicle sales. Elizabeth Whitmer is here and Norm Miller, Garfield Dunlop, and uh, others may, may drop in. It's a, uh, it's a grassroots idea, uh, certainly in my area, a locally driven idea. Last November, I was asked to address a, uh, a regional conference of Norfolk Mutual Insurance board members. I talked about the economy and the state of our auto industry back then, uh, described the problem. As we know, the companies are unable to manufacture the, uh, the quantity that they have traditionally and there's lack of confidence amongst uh, customers in purchasing. And I indicated to those present that uh, so many people have indicated to me they've lost confidence in uh, decision makers with respect to our, our economy and with respect to the auto industry. Taxpayers were expressed in their reluctance to have their tax money go to big companies 
to go to the uh, to the large unions. So uh, last November we were working on ideas and I decided to throw it out to the audience. We broke for lunch. Halfway through roast beef, uh, a local farmer approached me with the idea, this was last November, to implement a tax holiday on vehicle sales. And uh, farmers, certain businesses have these kinds of advantages and it, it does <clears throat> offer a great incentive for people to uh, to purchase. As with my colleagues, we commenced distributing uh, petitions. I focused on uh, car dealerships, primarily uh, GM, Chrysler, and uh, Toyota in our, our area. Dealerships are open over the Christmas holidays and had an opportunity to uh, to visit a large number of the dealerships in, in our area. January 15th, <clears throat> I wrote a letter to our finance minister requesting the Ontario government implement a sales tax holiday immediately. I have not heard back from the minister. We as MPPs, if you uh, read Hansard, have continued to read these uh, signatures and names into the, uh, into the legislature. I wrote a follow-up letter to our finance minister yesterday, again, not only requesting consideration and action on this proposal, but also to encourage the Ontario government to reach out to the federal level, both Canada and the United States, and to the state level to, conser uh, to encourage consideration of this idea, ever bearing in mind that 85% of our vehicle production is shipped to the United States. This requires the support of Ontario to make this a North American-wide initiative. Thank you very much, and I would ask Frank please to Thanks. take over. Well, thanks, Toby, and um, uh, I want to, on behalf of my caucus colleagues, uh, express uh, particular appreciation to Toby for bringing uh, the specific idea of a sales tax holiday to our caucus. Uh, when uh, Toby mentioned this at a caucus meeting, I, I started to think about uh, the implications of a sales tax holiday, and it really comes down to Economics 101. All business starts with a sale. And so I began to interview some uh, of the dealers in my riding, and uh, almost to the person, uh, there was an immediate take-up. And uh, what I was told is that, uh, in, in fact, in one particular case, they hadn't sold a car until that day for the entire week. And so it comes down to stimulating this industry. We can put billions of dollars uh, into the manufacturing side, but if we don't stimulate sales, the bottom line is there will be nothing to demand manufacturing. And so Toby had it right. Uh, I believe that our caucus has it right. And we're hoping that the Minister of Finance gets it right. Uh, Toby referenced uh, petitions, and I can tell you that uh, these petitions here are just from the last two days. The interesting thing is that they come from right across uh, the entire province, and they come from all dealerships. It's not just the big three. Uh, these are dealerships from across uh, the province. And so uh, our call to the Minister of Finance is very simply this. You're putting billions of dollars, you're committing that to the manufacturing side. Put some of this money into the front end, the retail side. It's transparent, it's specific and it is going to stimulate sales. That's what we're told. We have the example here in Ontario, as Toby indicated, and uh, Ted. Uh, in fact, when I mentioned this to Norm Miller, he was good enough to do the research on his father's uh, budget in 1980. Uh, we reviewed that, and uh, within one month alone, 17,500 car units were moved off lots in the province of Ontario. A huge success, and we're simply saying, let's go with what is proven to work Let's stimulate sales. Let's ensure that the dealerships throughout our communities survive this downturn, and that's where it has to start. So again, our call to the Minister of Finance is let's get this right, put some of that money out of the billions into the front end to the consumer. Thank you.